So welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be getting into CSS and if you don't already know CSS is what allows us to style our sites so that it's not just a plain black and white default styles and this basically lets us uh, create a bit more of a user friendly design for our site so as I said in the previous tutorial of lists we could create a navigation bar out of those lists um, uh, using style sheets so CSS and that let us lay it out, put them horizontally, put them vertically, however we want. So there's two main ways of using a style sheet. We have internal and external style sheets. Internal is where it's all in one page, and this is how I'm going to be showing you first. And external is how you have a separate page. So this is useful if you have like a hundred pages in your site, and you want them all to have the same the same like theme and everything. So to create an internal style in the header section, in the header section just below the title, what we're going to do is create a tag and call this style type equals and then text slash CSS. And that is all you need to do. We then close it off, style like that. And then all your style information goes in here. And the next way of doing it, I'm going to cut this for now. The next way of doing it is having an external one. So for this we need to create a new file and just leave it blank for now. We're going to go save as and then we're going to call it style.css. This .css is really important. That makes it so that Notepad++ knows that we're saving a different type of file. And by the way, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. So now we need this file, because right now this file has never heard of the style.css. We need to basically import it into the HTML file. Now to do that, it's going to do link href equals, and then we call it style.css. This is very similar to doing the image. And then here, what we're going to do is rel, rel equals style sheet. And then oh, type equals text slash CSS and put a forward slash at the end here followed by a closing bracket I don't think this forward slash is needed but you might as well put it there anyway so that is pretty much how to put an a external style sheet now uh, I'm gonna be using an external style sheet for this just so well we might as well leave it here so what we're gonna do is in our style.css we're going to style this body tag and to style a tag all you need to do is write the name of the tag like that body and then we're going to do a curly bracket then close the curly bracket like that you see they're going to red and then here you put the styling information so here we can put background dash color and set it to a green or whatever color you want and so this is a tag like that and we'll get to IDs in class in the later tutorial and then here we put all of our styling information so save it run launch in Chrome oh hang on make sure you don't launch the style.css uh, that's a common error I get it all the time you need to be on your your HTML file and run it from there so launch that in Chrome and you see the whole background is green so we know that our, our style sheet has worked um, that's all I'm going to go into in this tutorial, but in the future tutorials I'm going to go into styling fonts, styling navigation menus, um, styling all sorts of things, styling uh, divisions, so divs, all sorts of things. So thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found it useful, and I will see you in the next tutorial.